Everyone is accustomed to the internet, as there are many benefits and drawbacks to it. The internet has answers to all our questions. If we look for any term or puzzle, we will surely find a solution. However, there are many mysteries that have yet to be solved. Join us as we look at 10 unsolved internet mysteries. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you receive updates about new videos. Now, let's get started. Number 10. GhostNet In 2009, a large-scale cyber surveillance operation known as GhostNet was discovered. GhostNet was considered one of the most massive operations of its sort ever discovered, infiltrating over 1,000 machines in 103 countries. However, no one is certain who was behind the operation. The cyber attacks were straightforward but extremely successful. Targeted people and organizations received emails with attachments or links. Users unintentionally downloaded a virus that gave hackers complete access to their machines by opening these files. Not only could hackers read, send, and transfer data, but they could also activate microphones and cameras. Because the network began in China, the Chinese government may be considered the number one suspect, albeit they have denied involvement. However, with Chinese nationalists, Russians, and even the CIA listed as probable culprits, the situation may not be apparent. Number 9. The Publius Enigma The Publius Enigma is a virtual reality game based on Pink Floyd's The Division Bell album. In 1994, an unidentified user began sending cryptic statements to the unmoderated Usenet newsgroup alt.music.pinkfloyd. In the messages, Pink Floyd fans were invited to solve a riddle and earn prizes. No one, however, knew who was sending these messages. On the night of July 18, 1994, the entire affair took an entirely different turn. The words Enigma Publius were spelled out in light patterns on the front of the stage at the Pink Floyd concert that night. Some claim that this alternate reality game was created by the band itself. The riddle was some foolish record industry trick that they dreamt up to baffle people with, guitarist David Gilmour stated in a 2002 interview. The drummer, Nick Mason, said that Publius Enigma was provoked by the record label during a book signing for his biographical novel Inside Out, A Personal History of Pink Floyd. Nobody knows if he said that to confuse people or whether he meant it. There were no formal remarks from the band. Number 8. Cicada 3301 The Cicada 3301, arguably one of the most famous online riddles of all time, began in 2002 on the anonymous message board 4chan. The organization, which is named after an insect, uploaded an image of white lettering on a black backdrop found below. The ad requests very clever people. Stating that the image contains a secret, it turned out that opening the image file in a text editing application revealed a string of characters. These were decrypted fast, leading to a website with a huge image of a duck and some depressing content. Participants in the puzzle immediately realized this was a red herring and discovered the message differently, leading them down an even deeper online rabbit hole. Some claim to have solved the problems, but their claims are suspect because it is commonly assumed that people who solve the puzzles are recruited and never heard from again. Since its release, various speculations have circulated, ranging from cult intrigues to a battle for greater web encryption. Whatever the case may be, the organization appears to have gone in recent years, and there are currently no more mysteries. It's unclear whether they'll return, but if they do, be prepared with a deerstalker cap. Number 7. Jack Frozy Emails People have reported receiving messages from their departed loved ones. People claim to have received communication from a deceased family member or acquaintance. However, they all have one thing in common. They're generally hired through a psychic or something like that. The Jack Frozy emails argue otherwise. 
Jack Frozy's acquaintances reported receiving emails from his email account around six months after his death. The first assumption was that his email address had been compromised. However, the fact that his pals confirmed that he had never provided his personal information to any of them added to the oddity of this internet enigma. There was also a fact about the content of his emails. They didn't think his account had been hacked because the emails they got were about personal matters and discussions that only Jack could have known of. One of his acquaintances, Tim Hart, got a message from him with the subject, I'm watching. The email's substance was much creepier than the topic. Did you hear me? Read the email. I've arrived at your residence. Get the F out of my effing attic. Hart replied to the email, but has yet to hear back. Who knows, maybe Jack was listening. Number 6. Lake City Quiet Pills The narrative of Lake City Quiet Pills begins with the death of Religion of Peace, a Reddit member on Reddit who mostly talked about firearms and his military experiences as well as urging others to send photos to his website lakecityquietpills.com. When individuals examined the HTML of his website, they discovered disturbing statements that resembled assassination attempts. They discovered suspected military links as they probed further. Eventually, careful digging revealed Lake City Ammunition Plant, a government-owned ammunition manufacturer in Missouri. This implies that Lake City quiet pills are bullets. Some have speculated that the website was used as a front to transmit assassination jobs back and forth. Others believe it was all part of a large joke. In any case, the mystery remains unexplained, which was frustrating to say the least. The idea of finding undiscovered assassinations piqued the interest of some internet users. Number 5. Black Holes on the Internet one of the internet's greatest mysteries is the existence of black holes. When a website or email fails to reach its intended recipient, most people think the connection has gone down. However, there is an enigmatic explanation for this. Online black holes. According to researchers, the internet is littered with them, and they represent a serious security concern. The most concerning aspect is that no one knows what they are or where the knowledge has vanished. Perhaps a virtual troll is gathering our misplaced emails like rotting garbage. Number 4. Mariana's Web The Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean is the world's deepest trench. It is 11,000 meters deep. Mariana's Web gets its name from this chasm. The Mariana's Web is one such internet realm that is thought to be deeper than the deep web. It is understandable in such a manner that the first and second phases of the internet may be searched using a standard website. The third and fourth phases are dark browsers, which can be accessed using special browsers such as Tor Browser. Mariana's Web is said to be the fifth phase. It is claimed that the largest mysteries to date, whatever they are linked to, are all concealed in Mariana's web, which is impossible to access since a quantum computer is required to access Mariana's web. It has yet to be produced. According to the Washington Post, the National Security Agency, NSA, is developing a quantum computer. Mariana's web has so far been dismissed as a dream. Number 3. Web Driver Torso This is a YouTube channel that posts videos that are not yet understood. Each video lasts about 11 seconds. Since 2013, videos have been published on this channel that is rectangular in shape, blue and red, and change location with the sound of weeping. This channel has almost a million videos and almost 9,000 subscribers. Every video in this collection is of the same genre. On the other hand, Google has recently begun to assert that WebDriver Torso is the sole channel operated by them that is meant to test the quality of YouTube. Number 2. A858 R slash A858 is a mysterious Reddit user renowned for secretly posting strange strings, digits, and characters. 
Many of its hidden signals have yet to be deciphered, and only a few have been decrypted. It's unclear why so many random decoded sentences were posted. Many people feel there was a reason for it. Thousands of hours have been spent breaking the code on Reddit sections and internet forums. What exactly do these odd letters mean? What's the point of delivering so many cryptic messages? Are they connected in some way? Who are the poster artists? Many of these questions remain unsolved. Number 1. Denigrate Markovian Parallax The Markovian Parallax Denigrate is one of the greatest online mysteries. This is also one of the internet's oldest and oddest mysteries. It derives from Usenet, a major proto-web chat system in the 1990s. This longest surviving enigma began in 1996 when a user known as the Markovian Plexus Denigrate sent out odd spam messages. The messages were made up of strange words and sentences that no one could understand. The messages were odd in that they were circulated across the community. They were referring to statistics indicating high human intellect. Nobody in the world has any idea how these messages were formed or what they meant. Usenet was removed from the internet and most communications were no longer stored. A 858-DE-45F56-D9-BC9 on Reddit purports to have an updated and better version of the Markovian Palex Denigrate. Here we are at the end of this video. Would you like to see any other internet mysteries? Please let us know in the comments down below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time.